Hey everybody, Goldie here, and today we are taking a look at the Chase character for this month's month-long contest, and one of my personal favorites, so I'm very excited for this, um, it's Lita, Rebel by Design. Um, thank you, Faction, for being wonderful and getting milestones for me in the middle of a preview. You're real ones. Um, okay, so she is modern era. I know a lot of people were like, wait, she's modern. Um, I believe this is tailored after her most recent run. Yeah, so entering the Rumble, um, challenging Becky in Saudi Arabia. So this is this version of Lita as um, evidenced by the ring gear. She's a little more covered up. And I fucking love this ring gear. I'm not going to lie. Like I said, big, big Lita fan. One of my favorites when I was growing up watching wrestling. So, modern era, aggressive showboat. She is a coach. She is the black finisher coach. And I can't possibly think of any ruthless aggression, chaotic striker Van Dam on my roster that would benefit from this coach. Um, but at 26k, that's six star bronze, black finishers do 50% more damage. Links, the women's superstar, which is just for equipping belts and is very confusing and useless. Uh, modern era, gems do 5% more damage and just the one standard set of gears. So this isn't Team Extreme Link Lita. This is the standalone Lita. And um, we have a number of builds. A number of builds. Let's just get right into it. There's a lot you can do with her. Um, so the first build we're going to look at is available at 3-star. It is double red with yellow 2. Uh, red 1, the Lita DDT 4 MP. It deals 61,325 damage. And choose two columns to make into multiply gems of strength 4. Red 2, the inverted twist of fate 6 MP. Deals 75,746 damage. And choose two gems to make into two turn juggernaut gems. They will increase your yellow MP by 5 on every countdown turn and make 9 multiply gems into red gems at the end of the countdown. And yellow 2, the twist of fate, 9 MP, deal 156,833 damage and choose 10 gems to destroy. So for this, we're going to do um, a red gem focus. We're doing with Butch for more red MP, Powerhouse Roman for 35% to the reds, Hall of Fame Snoop for 20% to the reds, and then Santa Hogan for a flat 2200 on all of our gems. Um, again, this is available at 3 star. For the belt, we're going full fury. Looked for some red gem substats. Mine aren't the best, so you could definitely improve the damage output on this. I have um, a tier for maxed out red percent metal. Utmost importance that your gem damage metal is percent and maxed out. And for the plate, general's orders. Whenever you break three or more red gems, get three yellow move points at the end of your turn. And uh, I just want to quickly point out that um, our opponent for this, we have a, a class advantage over the female road opponents for um, showboat. Like when previewing a showboat, it's basically striker. Nobody else has a belt. Um, Tech Bailey is running the annoying 1MP choose columns of a mobile gems, and every single match I played, she'd cover up the multiply gems. So we're just going to go against Bianca because she ain't going to do that. So the damage output will be a little higher than expected. Um, but whatever. I don't care. It's Lita. I want to make her great. So uh, let's see what this 3-star build does. Where's Bianca? Where? There she is. Okay. Surprise! Um, yeah, I love this ring gear so much. Uh, I forgot to point out, I do have um, level 3 tour perks, so I do get that plus 1 um, MP, which I need because this is 6 MP and I wasn't making this like turn 4. So, uh, Lita DDT. Two columns to make some multiply gems of strength 4. You could use Matt Hardy if you want. I don't enjoy using him in previews, on record of saying that, so. Um, I want to take this yellow match. If I do that, she's probably going to take the black match? Whatever. 
Uh, inverted twist of fate. So two juggernaut gems. This is going to be what gives us our yellow MP. And then it's going to turn a bunch of these into um, red gems afterwards. Yeah, that's fine. So what we can do is hit the twist of fate and we can take three more red gems if we want. I won't actually do take those ones. I'll do that, that, and that. Okay. Okay. And we'll cascade into oblivion. That's cool. So much for that. Uh, and then... Yeah, because I want to be able to, like, link those. I'm hoping she doesn't match them. I'm hoping she goes up here. And we can toss out another set of Juggernaut gems. Just to make sure if we have more multiply gems on the board, we're going to convert all of them into reds. And, uh... Hmm... Yeah, I didn't really leave myself a good swipe here. That's fine. Whatever. I'll just do that. Should probably take these. It made the noise, though, so effective. Is it going to convert her multiply gems, too? It is. Okay. So some bonus red gems for us. And about a mil and a half again, we do have a class advantage. One, two, three. Fairly straightforward in my opinion. A little on the slow side because you have to wait for the juggernaut gems to trigger. But that's fine. Um, I'm just going to show a quick variation of this build. So let's do that. So, slight variation, we're going to keep the red moves. We're bringing in the 5-star move, which is the Lita Kanrana, 8 MP. Deal 207,777 damage and force your opponents to skip their turn for two turns. I think I have four or five builds centered around the skip move. And by centered, I mean you can use it as an option. Um, even if your opponent has an anti-stun, the move damage is still substantial. Um, so we're going to keep the entourage the same, and we're going to take a look at this with the stun move. So put out our columns of multiply gems. We don't really have any red gems on the board, so I'll just go over there. Hit the inverted twist of fate. Put them on loot boxes, because she's unlikely to match those. Now, the Juggernaut gems are going to load the stun. So, 165,000. Stun for two turns. This will ensure she doesn't F with the board, and we're going to turn all of these into red. Ta-da! Yay! Out of mill. This isn't my favorite um, move set for her. I'm not a fan of the reds at this level. At six star, the reds are what interest me more. But, wouldn't be a preview if we didn't show all of our options. And we've lost the stun lock because she kicked out, so that's unfortunate too. Oh no, and then these are going to trigger. Ah! Maybe this keeps her down then? Yeah, okay. So that's an option. Not my favorite option. 
But it's an option. Ta-da! So that's the red set. Let's get into um let's get into the moves that I think everyone is gonna be very excited for. Next build we're going to look at brings in the finisher and both blue moves. So this is available at four star. Uh, finisher, the lead assault, 10 MP, deal 305,503 damage. Gain 7 blue MP and pin the opponent. Blue 1, the single leg monkey flip, 7 MP. Deal 82,493 damage and choose 6 gems to make into yellow gems. And blue 2, the running tornado DDT, 7 MP. Deal 89,765 damage and deal 379 1,821 bleed damage to your opponent for two turns. Um, so RVD level, but an extra turn. Yes, everything is RVD centric. Do you, have you met me? Um, so, Entourage for this. Lawler for blue MP. I'm going to use Striker Seth for the bleed uh, to add 66%. I do not have Mutant Finn Balor, but if you do... That is an option to consider with the base finisher damage that could, you know, add 150% of 300. So your your uh, finisher damage could be massive if you have him. I do not. We're going to go bleed. Um, Kyrie for 25% more bleed damage. And so don't get mad. And this is the part where it's like if you're in my comments complaining about it, I'm going to answer with tell me you watched the video on mute without telling me you watched the video on mute. I'm going to use Gooker for 25% um, damage to all of our gems. And the reason being, um, I don't have my preview R-Truth anymore. So I have my own R-Truth at 5% instead of 40% to the finisher. So I'm using Gooker as an alternative. But everybody's going to have our truth. You'll eventually work them up and get the 40%. So we're using Gooker in the interim. Again, tell me you watched this video on mute without telling me when you're in my comments. Uh, for the build. Uh, belt. Build. Build of the belt? Belt build. Um, full armor. I have a uh, 100% on the finisher. And I'm using a cheap shot. Whenever you land a gem, a critical hit, reduce the damage of all your opponent's gems by 50% for one turn. And I am going to go against this tech Bailey just, to, you know, so people don't get mad. I already beat it with Alundra, who I have at 5 star gold. So I'm not doing this for contest points. Again, tell me you watched the video on mute without telling me. Um, and yeah, we're going to see how this armor build works. Now she can do all of her 1 MP shit and I don't care because we don't. We don't need the multiply jumps. I will, however, take this wild card to get ready to go on turn one. Uh, so <laughs> the bleed is up to 725,000. Oh, d was that supposed to be a, t a DDT? That looked more like a neck breaker. Um, but that cell was fantastic. Uh, choose six to make into yellows. We're going to pin, so let's just pin. Please kick out. Okay, thank you. The hope is to do that all in the same turn, so both um, lead turns are while they're trying to kick out. Yeah, now you can do your immobile gem. Crap. I don't care. Uh, finisher is up to 632,000. And this is going to reload our blues. So, fairly straightforward recycle. Big finisher. Big bleed. Lots of different ways you can build this. One, two, three. Definitely lots of ways you can build this.
So that's what's available at four star. We have seen the five star move. So let's start coming up with some different build combinations. So another variation on the bleed build is to bring in the uh, Lita Kanarana to um, skip turns. We're not going to recycle all that well, but want to see what that does. Uh, bringing in Santa Hogan instead of Gooker, just so people don't get mad. And uh, let's see how this works. Uh, so again, turn two because of the tour perk situation. But when we choose our um, our yellow gems, we're going to have to try to cascade some of these blues together, too. Oh, that's perfect. That is perfect. Hit the bleed. Yeah, that's not a DDT, but it looks really freaking cool. Uh, cheese six to make into yellow. Oh, I can't get all four of them. Okay, that's fine. Do some kind of that. Yay! But hoping we get some blue matches while she's stunned. That would help us recycle a little bit. But again, we're going for like big bleed. You can load up on yellow move damage as well. Uh, yay, we have a blue match. Okay, so the Lita Kanrana. Take a blue match. Done for two turns, hit our bleed move. That looks so good. And then choose to make yellow. Do we have any? Two, three, four, five, six. We can do that. Even better. Even better. As intended. And yeah. There goes the kick out damage, cause you bled. Excellent. Let's go try something else. So we're gonna switch to a bit of a move damage focus now. We're gonna bring in the finisher. We're going to run the skip move. And we're going to use the single leg monkey flip to load everything up. Entourage. I'm once again using Gooker. Um, I don't care anymore. <laughs> Lawler for blue MP. Um, Showboat Big E for 45% more damage to yellow moves. Santa just for a little bit of gem damage. Gooker for 25% to all of our moves. If I had my um, preview truth at max coach ability, I'd put him instead of Santa, to be honest. Because just as much move damage as possible. And, um, we got a spicy belt. We got a spicy belt. I need y'all to look at these, um, yellow move substats for a sec. Because if there's one takedown color I have, it's yellow. Um, okay, so. 7.93% with that metal. 9.64% with that metal. 6.32% for that metal, and a 200 percenter, plus the 30% um, from a double takedown set. So we have 253.88% um, yellow move damage. So, thoroughly looking forward to this. I don't know why auto is on, my bad. Okay, so I need a four match and a three match. Or a five match and a three match. Eh. 
And there's mobile gems there. Shit. Uh -huh. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Hit the stun. Swipe a gem. Extra turn. Money. So 1.23 million on the finisher. Again, if you had um, Mutant Finn and a maxed out K Quick, that would be insane. But she kicked out, because why wouldn't she? Uh, so, I need a three match there. Oh god, okay. Five match, three match again. This looks a little easier, though. Her being stunned means she's not making the entire board a mobile, so... Or I could cascade, that works too. But I can at least hit the stun again. Make sure that's still going. Swipe that. And then it should be big finisher, pin, stay down. Yeah, perfect. Can we crit? No, we can't crit. I was going to say, but she's not kicking out of this, I swear to god. Perfect. Alright. There's one more variation of this I want to take a look at. And, um... I'm going to put my big girl pants on for this one. Because I just want to see, okay? I just want to see. Last build I want to try is triple yellow, again, with a move damage focus. So the finisher, the twist of fate, and the Lita Can Rana. Entourage for this. We're going to go with Acro Dominic for 50% um, increased chance for yellow gems on the initial board. And matching yellow gems charge moves with that color by two. We are going to use Kofi as well. These moves are on the high charge side. But I'm okay with taking a swipe for turn one. Again, Gooker, and, and I would be using uh, K-Quick if I had him leveled up, but I don't. Sticking with the um, buttloads of yellow move damage. And I'm bringing in the It's Time Once Again plate. Whenever you break three or more purple gems, get three yellow move points at the end of your turn. Uh, there's a chance that, you know what, actually, we're not going to use that plate at all. We're not going to use that plate at all. Because as I'm explaining it, I realize I should use a gem plate instead. Because there is a very strong possibility we are going to run out of yellow gems. So we could do superior tech. Any other options? We could do shock the system. We don't need red gems for this build. So we're going to do this. And that way when she, like the opponent, you'll see. Um, but she'll target reds, so that'll help nerf that a little bit. And this, um, is a choose any gem, so we can target some purples. And we're going to go to punch up university here. Now, again, before people get mad, I already beat it with Hall of Fame China, so y'all just relax. This isn't for competitive advantage. This is just to see... If with this amount of move damage, can we A, keep the move damage high, B, can we keep the stun lock going, and C, how long is it going to take for us to go through 14 million health? Um, I know you're all wondering, so let's see. It's like looking in a mirror. Okay, so Kofi, and da, 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 perfect. And look at that. We have our yellow match, and she doesn't. Haha. <laughs> All right, so Lita Canarana done for two turns. We're gonna go ahead and hit this because we don't need to use this yet. So one point one five mil. She has her six star kick out um, thing, so. And choose 10 to destroy. 
Now, using Acro Dominic means we're going to get two on a match. So instead of just breaking the yellow gems, if I can cascade them, I would much rather do that. Then I can do that. I'll take that too. And then that'll give us our purple break to turn reds into yellows. We are going to pin. That's fine. But this should even better. I was going to say that should make our stun move ready to go. And she left us a wild card? You shouldn't have. Yeah, I'm going to take it. Whatever. Locked and loaded for the next turn. More yellows on the board. Yay! Oh, this is fun. We're four mil health down. Four mil health down. Hit the stun lock. Hit the finisher. So definitely punching up. Definitely punching up. Full drain for feuds. I think that's a possibility. Uh, 10 to destroy. Once again, I'm going to do that. No, I'm not. I'm going to drop those to do a four break. Get that. This will trigger the plates. I'm going to drop that one down. And then I'm going to drop that one down. And then I'm going to destroy that. And drop that down. See, I know what I'm doing. And then we'll take the yellows. We need the reds to convert. So we'll take the blues. I think I did that right. Boss. Yeah, go ahead, kick out. Stunned. Stunned again. Million finisher. If I had Mutant Finn, I would consider using him over Dominic and putting in Rikishi instead of Santa Hogan. Because that way you'll still get your um, MP match. But you'll do a buttload of damage. Two. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Take our purples. Drop that into a wild card. Charge everything up. Yeah, this is this is going well. And even with the six star kick out, she can't do anything. Is it fast? No, obviously it's not fast. Um, but is it effective? Yes. So an option if you, maybe she's going to be your best female character and maybe you don't have her maxed out yet. You can definitely still punch up. This is punch up approved. Stand to destroy. Oh, we can do. That. My bad. I can't do that though. Little too bold. Uh, but that will drop. That'll go there and that'll do nice. Let's do that then. Nice. Yay! Oh, we gave her a bunch of wild cards. It doesn't matter! <laughs> Okay, so that's definitely, you can hang. It's gonna take a minute. Glorified stun lock, but the damage is there. The move damage is definitely there. All right, let's go ahead and talk. Ooh, 10 TP for my travels, thank you. Let's go ahead and talk six star. So once again, portal is updated before I did the preview. Yay, uh, so her six star move. Crack that open and get legible. 
So it's six star. She gets the Lita Bomb, four MP red move, deal 142,538 damage, and increase the strength of your multiply gems by six. Insane in the membrane. So let's do that. And let's talk about possible six star builds. Uh, triple red. Choose two columns to make the multiply. Increase the strength of your multiply gems and then turn your multiply gems into red. Um, you don't need to worry about recycling because it's all going to fill itself. Fury build, red percent metal. Um, for the entourage, you would probably want to load up on as much red gem damage as possible. You want your MP trainer, so you'd want Butch. You can use Matt if you want. I um, I really like building the actual base gem damage itself, so I would probably be more inclined to use Powerhouse Roman. And then at that level, you're going to want percent trainers over flat. So the 20% from Hall of Fame Snoop and probably the 15% uh, from Typhoon. I would do that over the flat 2200. Is there another red gem? Yeah, I wouldn't use Stacy because at six star, your, your gem damage is going to be substantial. Uh, moves that generate red. You don't need that. If you have Macho King for the 20%, that's the other dude. I don't have him, but Hall of Fame Snoop for the 20, Typhoon for the 15. And if you only have Typhoon, then by all means, feel free to use Santa Hogan when in doubt. That's what I would do. And like full fury entourage set will be removed. That's fine. Yeah, so that would be my build for her. In terms of plates, you don't really need one because you're going to make your multiplies of strength four and you're going to increase that by six so they're going to be multiply gems of strength four, which means you break one red multiply gem and all of these are charged up uh two turn juggernauts increases your you don't need to worry about the yellow mp make nine multiplies into red. yeah so you're you're loading you don't need an mp plate at all um and you don't even really need a board destruction one either, because you're just going to turn all your multiply gems into red. You don't need to really blow up the board for them. Hmm. Yeah, uh, escape artist. Use an escape artist plate. Tell the opponent to go F themselves. Um, yeah, escape artist, cheap shot, head games even, if you have one. Um, that would be, I think that would be my inclination there is to do this build. Um, but that concludes our Lita preview. Uh, she's really good. She's really fun. I really want to take her six star like ASAP because I'm a Lita fan. Um, again, aggressive modern era showboat coach black finishers do 50% more damage. That may or may not be the reason why I want to take her six star. It can be both. Uh, modern era gems do 5% more damage, no gear, and again, based on her most recent run, which is why she's modern, and they did an absolutely incredible job with the gear. I love it. I love Lita. I want the world for her. Devs kind of did her dirty with the face. She's a lot prettier. But that's our preview. Let me know what you think in the comments of this video. There's a lot of versatility with this. You could substitute, like, any move to run with anything. Um, she's solid. We didn't even try, like, choosing two columns to make into multiply gems of strength four. And then choosing six gems to make into yellow gems and doing like a yellow gem damage focus and covering up your multiply gems with that. We didn't even consider that, but that's an option as well. And uh, yeah, that's the preview. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments and thank you for being a friend.